आर गोइंग लेक्चरिंग गॉसपिंग दे आर स्पीच एक्टिविटी हाउ एक्टिविटीज बिकम इवेंट्स दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस मॉर्निंग वाई आर वी टेकिंग lecturing gossiping as activities because they are verbs if we look at these words grammatically they are verbs and verbs are action words but when we do these speech activities in some situation these activities become speech events and when we take them as speech events they become some entity some concrete thing they don't remain action in other words grammatically speaking they become nouns see this difference arguing is verb but an argument this is a noun now arguing is arguing is an activity and argument is an event similarly lecturing this is an activity and a lecture this is a speech act speech event similarly gossiping is an activity and gossip session gossip time this is a speech event now you understand the difference between activity and event when verbal activities the activities in which words are involved we call them verbal activities the word verb also means word so in that sense we are using it here when verbal activities are speech activities they are linked with situation they become events and when they become events they have structure they have beginning they have middle they have end and why do we want to convert speech activities into speech events definitely there would be some some benefit for us and that benefit is given here speech events can be compared when we turn them into speech events they get structure the structure can be compared across communities across cultures a comparative study is possible how one speech event is similar to an other speech event in the same culture or in different cultures this is the benefit delheims anthropological linguist and uh, uh, some people even give him credit to be father of sociolinguistics he has given components of speech event a structure is suggested by him some of these components are first of all a speech event has social setting for example if our speech activity is small talk it would be done when we are sitting for example in a situation like you, we are waiting at a bus stop and uh, we have to kill time in this social setting such kind of talk can be done second thing is cultural norms about who says what when and where context means the time the place and the participants which are involved in a situation of talk and uh, who says what and how this is determined by the culture when you are talking for example in classroom with your teacher your style of talking would be very different from your talk with your classmates and with your intimate friends this is what we mean cultural norm some speech events are ritualized again here the role of culture is emphasized for example 
a cultural setting tells us how greeting the speech event of greeting will take place for example in our culture when we greet each other we say assalamu alaikum the other person says wa alaikum assalam the other person never says assalamu alaikum in the similarly in other cultures how are you and the uh, i am fine or uh, good morning and the se second person also says morning and in hindu culture in japanese in hindu culture they they bind their um, palms with each other and uh, in japanese they bow to each other so it varies from culture to culture and these things are ritualized they become ritual the structure of the speech event is also gender for example father knows best because a research was conducted with this title so that's why this title is used to show one example of gendering of speech event father knows best this talk takes place when we are at dinner table mother our siblings and other people in the family they sit together what happens what is the structure of this speech event according to our culture mother begins the talk she asks the children tell your work your daily activities today's work especially to your father they report to the father because they think father knows best father judges that you have done well he appreciate or uh, he appreciates or depreciates according to that so this is the structure of this speech event from this we conclude that every speech community has a set of routine speech events and the structure of these speech events how they would begin how they would end how they would proceed this is decided by gender ideology this is gendering speech event